No, we're not sad. Coach. We're not sad, brother. We're, not sad. we're gonna be in the playoffs. You guys yeah. are not. We got out coached. Hardball needs to do better. At the end of the day, right? You win some, you, you lose some, some bad, but you live to fight another day. Absolutely. You, hey, on, you guys will be watching this in the playoffs. I can't wait. <laughs> Hello and good evening from State Farm Stadium. I am Dante Piazza. A lot of happy Cardinals fans filing out of the stadium on this Monday night after their team pulled out a gritty 17-15 win after a wonderfully executed two-minute drive. Game was dominated by the kickers, a lot of field goals, and a couple key turnovers really told the story. Let's get fan reactions, talk about it. And we'll see what fans have to think. Oh man, James Conner is the beast at the end there, busted off that big run. Oh. What can you say, James Conner, man? Absolutely. I think it was a, a defensive battle, and Justin Herbert threw for 349 yards, but somehow we didn't let him in. We didn't let him in the end zone. Exactly. I think the fact that they fumbled three three times is yeah. that's got to help. We had a break. <laughs> I I think that's got to be. Uh, a big component to how good the defensive scheme was was um, right. planned. Can you talk about that real quick? I just thought it was a great game, great, great game plan by everybody, and uh, you know, team effort. All Absolutely. sides of the ball, a couple breaks, went our way, and then we finished it at the end. As an offense, as a leader, you know, um, I think that Herbert has had a hard time just trying to push it in and get those extra points yeah. in, the, in for a touchdown. Yeah. You know. Instead of just field goal, field goal, field goal, we rely on our kicker way too much. Yeah, I mean, as, as a as a quarterback, you gotta you know you gotta punch in the ball. Right, I mean, for sure. You when you get to the doorstep in the red zone, you can't you yeah. can't set up a field goal, especially sure. in the NFL. Yeah. It was a sloppy game on both sides of the ball for both teams. It a lot of field goals tonight, only one touchdown. Yeah. Uh, do you think that speaks more to the, the defensive uh, game plan planned by the defensive coordinators or? I mean, just sloppy I, think just, I think it just comes down to the quarterback in the end, you know what I mean? Just you gotta rely on, you know, you can't rely too much on your defense. I mean, especially when you're, you know, picking first round picks like Joel and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, you're making big moves on offense and everything. I think both teams did pretty well on def defensively. You know, like there's times where like both teams are driving down the field, but I mean, it always came down to those like little little mistakes at the end and then that's what really costed them, so. Yeah, they off, so often the little little things of football are often the big difference between a win or a loss at the end of the day. Um, you, do you think the, the more credit goes to the, the game plan schemed up by the defensive coordinators, or was it just came down to sloppy football and lack of execution from the offense? Um, honestly, I would say it all comes like it all comes down when you guys are going blow for blow. And it's, just, it's really just those last five minutes, you know, who's, who's going to really come up big in the clutch. And just like, it was just the Cardinals today, so. Hubert had a great game, threw for 349. He did, bro. But he couldn't, the Chargers couldn't find a way to get into the end zone. Those yeah. three fumbles they had definitely yeah. didn't help the situation. Field goals, you know what I mean? Where was you at in the game? How, so, how important yeah. is it so, to to just take care of the football and how much did that happen? hundred percent, man. Ball security is everything, man. Usually the team that wins the turnover battle usually wins the game, man. Uh, we had no business fumbling the ball. Herbert had a great game, as you, uh, as you stated, man. And um, you get the receivers, man, too many drop passes, too yeah. many things you can't come back from, right? You only have so much time to come back from things. Absolutely. Drop passes aren't helping. Protection and not holding up at, at critical moments isn't helping, right? Yeah. Herbert gave you everything he could. But, but all in all, at any given Sunday, anybody could get beat any Sunday, any Monday. Yeah, it, don't, it don't matter who you are. Watch out, cuz you call me for the interview and get up out of here. Look. Hey. Original San Diego, you just say I'm called back. Look. How big was the three fumbles that the Cardinals had on offense? And why why are the little things so important to get right in an NFL game? No, so it wasn't the three fumbles. All right, I'll tell you that right now. It's the fact that we have a Hall of Fame quarterback. We kicked five field goals. And we can't even score a touchdown with a Hall of Fame quarterback and a Hall of Fame coach. It's just embarrassing right now. I I hear you. Hobart, Hobart did his party through for 349, but field goals are not going to win NFL games. That's right. It's not. You, you throw, you, again, you get to throw 500 yards. If you're not throwing touchdowns, you're not winning the NFL. What What do you think? Because they, they had chances. They, they would get deep into Cardinals territory. What, what do you think? Do you think the Cardinals' red zone defensive schemes were no. up to challenge? Or what, what do you no. think? 
Like that's just horrible play calling. You got Dobbins in the backfield. You got a Hall of Fame quarterback. You have to put it in the in the end zone. You have to. You figure it out. You find a way. Absolutely. You, you won't win NFL games, so I don't feel no. this. I, I told everybody. I told my buddies right here. We kicked that field goal. I said, we just lost. So it left too much time? Yes. It happens all the yes, time. All the time. Absolutely. Last question for you, my friend. Um, final two minutes. Cardinals needed to go. Go march down the field two minutes. Go get in the field goal range. Kyler Murray and James Conner really had a fantastic drive. Yep. Leading, yep. leading them, getting into range. From a defensive standpoint, was it? What do you think? Did, you, did the defense get outplayed, or was the couple missed tackles? What? What? What really happened? Talk to me. On the last drive, yes, there was some horrible tackling, but at the same time, you got to put some pressure on Murray. You got to put a spy on him. You you got to do something to neutralize him and not let him do what he does best and scramble around and beat you with his feet. Yeah, it's, it's dual threat quarterbacks. So yeah. They're hard to game plan as a defensive coach, but it it, it really keeps you honest because you, you can't send the house because yeah. they'll take off and scramble run around. Yeah. Him. So at, at the end, we got all coached. Hard body to do better at the end of the day. Tyler, you look you look pretty good out there, man. Like uh, I actually for my ACL too, and I've seen him like be able to execute just like the way he did when before he gets injured. And it's pretty cool to see, man. Absolutely. The uh, last question. I, you mentioned Kyler Murray. How much how much does a mobile quarterback and having the ability to use their legs and have that as a dual threat? How much does that help a, a team in, in trying to keep the defense on their toes i think that's like that's just like the new era today you know like all, all, all these qbs that are able to like move even herbert has it herbert has it a little but yeah you've seen what kyler i mean kyler did today like the plays like plays not over till he's like really out of the pocket and, and he, i mean you've seen it he's like he got out of that pocket scored a touchdown yeah. just one one-on-one -on -one. yeah so 44 yard it was yeah. it was a good one. But yeah i mean you just as a quarterback you know there's no other discussion it's just you know you got to punch in the ball um i mean yeah rely on a defense when you need to but at the same time you know if they would have scored let's say out of like five possessions uh, that they scored they would have at least converted one for a touchdown you know they would have won the game you know what i mean so yeah, absolutely and martin harrison jr came back came back this weekend from injury great to see he had three catches for 21 yards is that is the lack of touches for him is that just the, the defense game planning a good scheme against him or is that sort of a byproduct of not not getting an open look to feed him the ball i think they maybe were just getting him a few touches to get him back back going in the game since he came back awesome because he is he is a huge a huge piece to this cardinals offense uh last question real quick the justin herbert threw for 349 yards he great game but the fumbles the three fumbles the Chargers had really is the story. And they were only able to kick field goals. They never got in the end zone. How how huge is it and how much of a confidence boost do you think they have in the locker room? Getting a pretty win like this, grinding out a tough defensive battle, getting a win. Definitely, you know, like they're they're going crazy in the locker room right now. Uh, and you know, like you can't win games with field goals, you know, and our defense yeah. did great shutting them down like that.